Hello again, and it's time for another project. Today we're going to make some kind of walking stick on this piece of olive bush wood that I cut off a tree in my garden, I would say maybe a year to two years ago. And I think it's near enough dried out for what we need. Now you can see from that, I've literally started just to sand off all the back using a belt sander and sander, anything I can find really, just to basically, we're going to clean it all off first, make it all nice and smooth. You can see this, the original back on there, it's not very thick, so it's going to hopefully sand up nicely. Once we've got it nice and smooth, the idea is to make a spiral effect. So we'll start at one end, just there, and we'll spiral it the full length, cutting it out with a saw, and then we use our car uh, carving bits, whatever we can get to hand, and hopefully put some nice spiraling effect from the bottom way up to the top. And that's going to be somewhere near what we need to do. It's five foot long, so it's a nice length. And like As you can see, I'm struggling to get it in our little workshop here. But I'll play about with it. Once we've got it all sanded down, I'm just going to clamp it down and go in with a nice big belt sander. You can use anything you want, sort it out. So we do the smoothness first, and then we'll work out how we're going to do the spiraling effect. Right, that's enough smoothing down and removing of the back as we're going to get this moment in time i'm struggling to get it in this little camera today but you get the general idea so it's fairly smooth smooth should i say even though it doesn't look it now remember we've got to put a spiral effect on this now a couple of options you can just get some string like so a bit of cotton uh, shoelace and do your spiral effect similar to that Quickly, quickly, you get the general idea from that two bits, and we'll get a spiral effect or some sort like that. And you just get a pen, pencil, and mark it off. Once you've played it about and put it how you want it, I'm just going to use electrical tape today. So we'll start off at the bottom, and I'll literally just put it on like so and get a nice angle that I'm comfortable with. And if you just go all the way around, we're going to do this quickly. One of the neighbours is working in the yard and he's making a, a fair noise. So I'm a little bit rushed today, but you can see the general idea for that. So I'll do that, the full length of this stick. Come back and we're basically going to remove the wood in between with our little saw and carving bits. Okay, I'll come back when this one's already marked off. Okay, we've got all our tape on. You can just about see from that, and that was literally just start at the top and spiral it down the full length, wrapping it around nice and slowly, and hopefully we've got more or less the same gap in between. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a stick at the end of the day. So I'm going to leave the tape on. You could tape around that, uh, draw around that with a pen either side, and then remove the tape. But I'm just going to leave it on. Now I have scroll saws, band saws, I've got all the fittings that go on the Dremel, which will cut into this a lot easier. But I'm just going to go old school today, use one of these. Now the idea is, the thickness I want to cut this will basically be the thickness of that blade. So it's just going to be a simple case of lining it up with the yellow and cutting around until that blade disappears into the wood. Then we'll move it round, cut a bit more, Move around and cut a bit more and so on. Just going along with your finger and making sure that blade's disappeared. And hopefully when we get all the way around, so I have to do it without knocking the table, we'll know that we're going to have the same thickness and the same depth all the way around. It's going to be a little bit awkward, but once you get our general lines, we can move, remove all the tape and then go in with a carving bit and start chiseling away at the bits we've done. 
Okay, I'll continue with this. It's going to be a slow process. I think this is one of those where we'll do an hour one day and put it to one side for a day or two and then come up back. But I'll continue with this and we'll come back when hopefully this is all cut out and we can start on with the carving side of things. Okay, we've gone both sides to the depth of our blade on the coping saw. That was hard going, to be honest. I knew there was a reason why somebody invented power saws. But we got through it all the way, as you can see from that. That was hard going. Anyways, let's move on. Now I think it's safe to remove the tape. You should just pull that off all the way. And we can see our basic shape there. And the idea is we're going to remove the sections that had the yellow tape on. Only because it's a smaller area than the other sections. And what we're going to do now is we're going to incorporate resin, coloured resins into each one of those yellow sections. And, excuse me, just carry on with that. Once the resin's in, we'll sand it all down nice and smooth and put some kind of finish on top. And hopefully we'll get some kind of effect of a nice resin spiral going the full length of this. Okay, we get the general idea with that. Like I say, it's a five foot piece, so I have a bit to go yet. And what I've done at the top there, I'm just about to fit this in my little workshop. You can see there, I've penciled in the ones we're going to remove. Right, I'll clear the rest of this tape and come back when I'm ready to talk about the bits I'm going to use. Right, we've removed all the tape. And I literally just got a pencil and shaded in the ones that we wanted to remove on our spiral. Now, for removing purposes, I'm just going to pop on one of these cheap eBay special engraving bits. Get one with a nice flat edge. And because we've got that line that we've cut out with the saw, all we've got to do is follow that, hopefully. And we'll just nibble away to the same depth as the blade that we literally about three millimetres, I'm going to guess, on both sides. And we're going to clear out these sections here that we've penciled in. It's going to be a slow process. And it's just one of those where you do an hour and then you can put it to one side and then come back another day. Now the engraving bits, like I say, just cheap eBay specials. They come in different shapes and sizes like so. These are well worn, these ones. But they've, they've served me well for what you pay for them. And then once we get our general shape, if I can just show you a little bit there. Look, I've had a little nibble at that one. Quite hard wood, this. Holly bush wood. I've no idea what it is, but it's holly bush wood anyway. Come off a holly bush, should I say. And then we'll get a sander and just smooth it all afterwards. So we'll do a little bit of this, then I'll go away and have a rest. And then we'll come back, hopefully, when we've more or less got a nice spiral shape going on this full five foot long shaft. Or is it shaft or staff? It's a staff, isn't it? Okay, right, let's continue and we'll start putting some kind of shape. Obviously, I've got this attached to a flexi cable. I cannot recommend this enough. And that's simply attached to the end of your Dremel or rotary tool. Okay, let's start carving this one out, I suppose. We've had a slight change of plan. Now, originally, I wanted to wrap this staff stick with sellotape, basically 
wrapping it all the way around and then we're going to cut a little slit in the top of every section enough so we can pour resin into each one and hopefully the resin would run round and set cure in every section with a nice multicolored yellows greens blues to give it a nice weird and wonderful effect but i tried a couple of attempts to get the cellar tape on like so and it was just too crumpled and it was just i just didn't feel it at all that's all the words i can use to be honest so some projects just don't quite work out as you like but we had a plan b so basically unfortunately i've got no video to show you but basically all we did was i used a wood dye this is a dark teak and i literally just painted it on there soaks in really nice goes on really easy two coats of that and then i use the same wood dye but light teak on this one and i did the the inner sections there and then when that was all nicely dry I went over the full piece just with some nice cheap yacht varnish three or four layers out in the sunshine just to give it a nice shine and a nice finish and that's it we've got a stick out of it a staff a cane whatever you want to call it and i will show you outside in a minute but you can see from there it's five foot long and basically for this end here i'll just grab it now i got myself one of these from a pair of crutches and that would just seem to just fit on there nicely all the way down to that section there if i just squeeze it on and show you i'm struggling to fit it in my little workshop to be honest but you can see there we've got a nice end on it for now it's not the best in the world but it'll stop it getting messed up on the ends something a bit smaller would probably be a little bit better but we could uh we could dremel that down if wanted so that's the end piece done and like i say it's five foot long so the spiral effect's definitely there. We've got a nice shine, as you can see. I'm just trying to steer this round and not run into things at the same time. And that's it. And then we get right to the end. You see how nice that wood dye's gone on? And at the finish there, somewhere, here we go. I basically just finished it like that. And there's a nice rounded edge on to hold on to. And that's it. So sometimes your projects just don't quite work out as planned. But it doesn't matter we've still got a piece out of it and that's it this little project is finished thank you very much for watching